morning and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Good morning and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin and we're going to be doing a fun procedure this morning on my patient here. Um, her name is Kelly and we're going to be putting a bunch of crowns on her front teeth and a bunch of implants in the back to replace her missing teeth. We're also going to be extracting a couple of teeth that are not savable. I'm very fortunate to have my wonderful resident here, Dr. Camille, anesthetizing my patient, getting her ready. We've got the nitrous oxide gas on, and uh, Kelly was kind enough to let us videotape this procedure. And, um, you know, some of you may know that we have a dental residency program here through NYU Langone, an advanced education in general dentistry. Kelly is one of our four residents. She graduated from Howard University along with uh, Andrew, who's one of our other residents from Howard. And we have uh, another resident from University of Florida. Um, and uh, where's the other resident from Florida? Tufts. And then one from Tufts, Jared's alma mater. So we've got four wonderful residents working with us this year. And Camille's here helping us get my patient ready for the procedure. All right, so here's the x-ray. And we're going to be extracting tooth number 11 because it's in bad shape. 11 and 13 are coming out. We're going to be placing implants on the upper, posterior, right and left side. And another day we're going to be doing the bottom teeth as well. But right now we're just focused on the upper. Thanks for joining me on the Monday Morning Minute. I'm going to get to work now. A few moments later. All right, so we've done all the crown preps, we've done a couple of extractions, and we're ready to place the implants for her upper roundhouse. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crown preps, extracted two teeth. We're going to place implants. I'll take two 11s to start with. And then I'll do the 13 over on the other side. Sorry, I thought I was going to use the 13 first. But. So here's our 2511 millimeter implant. Okay, bite together. Bite. Let's see. Okay, good. Our right, next one. Thank you, Sunny. I've got the best dental assistance in this universe. Got Joanna and Sunny helping me here. They're just fabulous. So we're not getting a lot of torque, but that's not unusual in the posterior where the bone is softer. But we're doing a roundhouse, so we'll be fine. And let's go ahead and put the... Do the 13 millimeter implant now. 2513.
That's better. So the torque over there is a little better. Now we'll do an 11. So we'll do two 11s. Okay. And that should do it, right? Two holes. I'm just going to avoid that extraction socket. So the 13 is at number 11. The 11 is at number 12. And then another 11 at 14, okay? Thanks for letting us record this, Kelly. You're very nice. Mm -hmm. We're just doing this for teaching dentists how to do these procedures. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got all the implants in. Let's see. We have five implants in and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crown preps. And we're good. So we'll go ahead and pack those sockets with a little bit of Restore Plus. This is a fabulous new product that Shackin first carries, the Restore Plus Pure Bovine Collagen, manufactured exclusively for us in Israel by our manufacturer. And this stuff is fantastic, I love it. Okay, I'll take one more piece of the Restore Plus if you don't mind. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> You're fantastic. You're outstanding. Joe, you're outstanding. Outstanding around. <laughs> That's a joke I have here at the office. I tell them they're outstanding, outstanding around. Very good. All right, so we put the Restore Plus, and then we put this hemostep on top of it, and that helps hold the hold the bone in place. It acts like a membrane, resorbs, but it helps form a clot. It also prevents acrylic from going down in the sockets during the uh, temporary fabrication. Okay, we're all set. I've done my job. It's all yours, Joe and Sonny, to make the temporaries. Thanks for joining me on the Monday Morning Minute. We'll see you next week.